This is a budget workshop. Um, our goal this evening, uh, we hope to get there, is to have, um, so that we don't have to meet again, uh, uh, too soon hopefully, but we can finish up today to be ready to present to the budget committee on the 12th. That's our goal. That's yours. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So, um, can you walk us through the changes where we're at right now? I'll just walk you through what we've got here. We've got our revised sheet uh, for the calendar with all of the dates on that. Mm -hmm. um, we've got an overview of your, your budget that Katie will go over in a second. Your revenue sheet. The warrants, we made the appropriate adjustments that we talked about last time just to, uh, again, that's not a final document, but we made the adjustments that we discussed last time in your budget. So with that, I'll hand it off to Katie for the... I don't, I don't know how you, how you want me, how you want to do it. I did, um, I think in our last meeting, I did do a just summary sheet like Judy asked for all the, all the um, accounts that changed. Up or down. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's descriptions in here. And that was case. Yep. yep. So I don't know if you just want to go through that. I mean, we did it last time. The changes that are in here since the last time, I've updated the health insurance rates to the decrease of the 9.7%. 9 Dental rates came in. We had estimated three. They came in at 2.3. So I, those are updated. There were some spe uh, special education changes. So those have been reflected in here. Um, I did increase the legal fees. I know we talked about that. Um, I increased by 5000 just to give a little bit of a buffer in case we do incur some additional legal fees. I think that's basically all that changed from the last time. Okay. And just, um, just I don't want to belabor the point, but, uh, and, and I know it's been a busy time and, and holidays and everything else that's going on, but um, it, would have been, it would have been probably good to have it a little bit, a little bit ahead of time so we could have had a chance to. Take a look at it. But we'll, we're we're gonna power through today. Um, so as of right now, the budget is down by three hundred twenty-eight thousand nine hundred forty-nine dollars. That's a significant change. From yeah. That. So, yeah. So it, again, I'm trying to look through to see sort of where that uh, all came from. So. Well, a couple of the big drivers were the special education. Mm -hmm. We we um, I think I mentioned last time we had a discussion with Mary Nash over at Marshwood and, and kind of clarified. How the billing was going to go, and, and we rebudgeted accordingly. So that was that was a substantial piece. Mm -hmm. uh, the Warren articles that were in there from last year, obviously those needed to be removed. So that's that's part of that. The health insurance. And was then the health insurance was the other big piece of that. That is one of the big drivers as well. Excellent. Okay. So we're going and the talk. fact that it's a significant decrease over our last uh, look at it is, uh, makes it a lot uh, easier to sort of look at this one. I still have left the SAU as it currently is because that hasn't been approved yet, so I haven't made any changes to that yet. So it's as it was in the current year. Okay. So that'll get adjusted once the SAU for approves that budget. Mm -hmm. And one thing for consideration, I mean, since, since we're down for a bit, uh, you might want to consider we're budgeting right to the number for tuition uh, for the number of students. We're not accounting for move-ins. Uh, so you might want to consider putting three or so tuitions in there to cover the two uh, move-ins if we have move-ins. If you don't have move-ins, you've got that uh, capital reserve that if it's still there at the end of next year, you could either choose to leave it there and, and turn it back, or you could choose to take it out and put it in that capital reserve. So. Now, if we do a warrant article this year to put money into it, it becomes available for the next school year, correct? I mean, for, for, the, for, for um, fiscal year 20? Yes. Yes. Okay. It gets transferred out. Yeah. And that, I mean, but that would have to assume that we had money left over this yes. year. We might if, it, if it passes... In, in March, March. it gets right. transferred in July. In July. Right. So it's available then for that right. year. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then we still need to vote on it to take the money out. No, right. we do not for this one. We made the board, we made the board the oh, uh, okay. agents right. of it so that okay. it could be used without having to go okay. uh, for special yeah, permissions and use it. Yeah. Because it would be something we would have to use. 
And again, if you get to that point in future years, let's say you had thirty thousand dollars in that in that cap reserve, and you had a number of students move in, uh, and your budget still was uh, underexpended at that point, you could choose to just overexpend certain lines. Um, and then you'd be fine at the end of the year and not touch your capital reserve, or you could choose to take the money out of the capital reserve. That either either choice. So I would throw out for the board's consideration and also advice from uh, from Bob and, and Katie. Um, I think maybe uh, budgeting for two, which is around uh, twenty-two thousand dollars for two regular tuitions, and and then also um, I'd throw out to the board. Um, do we have a warrant article for it to put money into it? Yes. Okay, so right, right now, yep. Making sure we so I did adjust it. Um, I moved the, the order of them. So that one is first. So that would hit first before the building fund. We talked about that last time. Yes. Um, so right now, we put based on our discussion, we put $30,000 into the tuition trust fund and $75,000 in for the building. And I would say if we put it into our budget uh, for next year, that we might lower that. Um, instead of putting thirty thousand into it, put twenty or something into it. If, right. If we didn't, certainly if we didn't use it, right, right or need it, right. And then, and then the following year, you know, get another, you know, yeah. if we don't expend that twenty, that twenty, and then sort of like that. How does that sound? Now, have we had any transfers in thus far this year? Did we? No, I think we've been pretty stable. Yeah. I think if anything, we dropped, dropped one or two yeah. students. Looking at the. Um, oh, right. Yeah, you did hear yeah. So far stable, but as, as we know, and certainly here in the grade school, it's very volatile right, right through the Christmas holidays, right into. And then after January, it seems to be stabilized. When you uh, discussed and created that capital reserve this past year, was there any discussion about how many tuitions you'd like to eventually get in there? Was it three, five? We had not. We had been putting into the budget three. And then we re reduced it to two, I believe, last year or the year before. We reduced it to, to bring the budget down. So what do people think? What to, how, how to break it up? How I would say uh, more than five. Is that the question? For total. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's that's well, a lot of money. Time with like three, really. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. between three and five. Not where I think would make you feel comfortable. Or if we had five, we could stop putting it in budget. Right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Good. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's what we need to replenish it. My guess would be it varies greatly year to year. I mean, that's my, you know, the districts, that's my past district. So if we start again with two to three and then adjust, you know, accordingly, mm -hmm. I guess, I mean, if it, or three, if everyone seems to be in consensus, <coughs> three is a good number to start with. The scariest part of that number, as you know, is that if, if you budget for uh, to the number and then go over that, the only place you make it up is in your K-8 budget. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no, right. there's no other place to do that. So. so, I mean, I would be comfortable adding adding two into the budget, uh, just to give us a little bit of wiggle room, which I think we've had all along up until now. Yeah. Uh, it's, been, it's been the minimum that we've had. Except that we didn't have any the first year, <laughs> and, and, we, and, right. we had 15, and we had 15 move-ins. Yes. <laughs> right. So, sharp learning curve. And, the, I, and I believe the RGS budget was um, was frozen. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and and unfortunately, I mean, you know. It, so go over that budget again, though. Two. Two in the budget this year, right. and at least and probably two. Or, or stay the three in the, in the one that's there. We can get to that when we get come to the warrant. I'd still want to put some in the warrant as well if we had the money left over. Yeah. Right. So this two, these two tuitions budgeted in here would be in next year's budget. Yes. Right. Because right. right now we have a dollar. The warrant article would be this year's budget. Two more. No. If the warrant articles you put together pass in March, you'll be funding that out of this present budget. If this money yes, is right, right. right. But it won't be accessible. Will it be accessible next year? Yes. 
July. Because it gets transferred in July. Yes. yes. Oh. Well, sometimes we wait till the audit's over, but. Um, Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right around there. Because we're year. working on next yeah. year's budget. Right. Yeah. It wouldn't be right. available. No, because okay. it's coming out of this year's funds. Got it. It can be confusing. But but that, in essence, gives us a total for next year of five. Well, I'm agree. Right. Right. Leave it that way. Explain mm -hmm. that to the brain trust of the budget committee. <laughs> well, so, the good piece of that is if you do if you do three out of this year's budget for a Warren article and you budget and tune it for next year, then in theory, the following year you budget to the number. Mm -hmm. I right. just think that there's enough. Right. There's enough now. Right. Just to be the last few years' experience. I mean, what we've gone through with the just the mobility, that number has not has been very fluid. So I, I think that that's pretty much all the efforts we need to justify. That's why I was concerned with the two because I just don't think it's enough. Well, and again, we're going to leave a warrant article, right. which will give us... Right, but if you, don't, if you have two and the warrant isn't approved, then... Well, it, okay, go ahead. No, but I'm saying you're having, yeah. you have it in two different places. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you have it in two different places... We would use it first from the budget. We, we right. would first expend the budget right, right, before right. we went into yeah. using that. Right. It's just, I guess it's just figuring out that number. And there's no tax impact on the warrant article. Right. right. And if the warrant article fails, then you still get to this budget. Yeah. Yep. And then we revisit it next year. Right. Okay. As long as you can explain it. And, 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 and just to muddy the waters, the only other thing I would say is put three in the budget since it looks since it is is, is considerably lower than last year's budget, which is nice. Well, that, but put three in the budget and then put two in the warrant article. I would think that would be the better way. Because we don't know how this year is going to go. Actually, this year is just kind of an up in the air kind of year. So I just, I mean, I think that every year we're having this discussion. We're, we're, we're concerned about the number. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we come to a new meeting and, oh, by the way, we have two new students in. And, you know, we have to account for it. But right. This is a really good safety net. Yeah. And it is a good year where you are down significantly. Yeah. Can you tell me what, what was our total for warrant articles last year? You had ninety-three thousand dollars for the roof, mm -hmm. and then you had the the, the trust fund seventy-five thousand for the building and a dollar to so to create. So we're still well, over no, and it was also and, and, no, it, was, it was also more than that for warrant articles because the um, collective bargaining the collective bargaining collective yes. garb, yeah. right, yeah. was that was about forty okay. something. Yeah. Thirty, yeah. Yeah. 40, 40, 40 something, yeah. 46 yeah. or so. So, so it right. ended up being about 100. But what gets taken out is the 93,000 because the, right. we're not, the collective bargaining is a separate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know so it gets. The 93 was removed yeah. from the project. The 93 was removed. For the group. Right. So we would be putting, say, three. And the 75. If, if we do three in the budget, it would be. either way, really. I'm not too, I mean. So, so, so the reason I'm sort of yeah. muddied the water, I apologize for doing that, for putting more into the budget, yeah. it then, uh, for next year's budget, right. we don't know how this year is going to go. And we don't know what expenses might come up this year that we might have to cover. We have, we have a number of things that are up in the air this year. Um, um, oh, if the war, right. you know, if the warrant sure. article, if, you know, if we That's choose not, to start right. a withdrawal we process, what we need, we're going to need money for that, mm -hmm. and it's going to start right away in March if that happens. You know, we may have to get legal advice. We may have to do things oh, like well, that. Yeah, so that was my uh, question. Should we put money, allocate money in the budget for that? I did yes, for next did. year. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I wonder. I guess we don't really know how much. That's the problem. Yeah, well, it will start in this school mm -hmm. year. It, right. If indeed we go in that, that route, so it will start. If I remember year. correctly, the last board meeting, I did, it there was a significant savings for special ed. Yes. So yes. that will help. Yes. So, so, the, the, so the only reason to, to put more of the uh, tuition money safer. in the budget seems safer, giving us more of a cushion for this year. Mm -hmm. So three, so three, three, three in a warrant, three, uh, three in the budget, in the budget and, two in the warrant. and two in the warrant. How does that sound? I'm just going to keep muddying the water. Because otherwise, no, I might have another well, situation. That's a good point. I, yeah. I, I yeah. like yeah. having the three in the budget because okay. the budget goes and the warrant doesn't. For whatever reason, you've got the three. Okay. If 
you put. Yeah. Sounds good. I like it. Right. Okay. Just to switch gears to on the revenue side, we did get our um, estimates from the state. So your adequacy is up $147,289 per what it's estimated to be. Uh, so it's going from $576,688 for the current year to $723,978. And I did give you, I did give you the comparison. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, we did, yeah, well, did think it was going to drop, but, but we have going up. Updated figures, yeah. It looks like they're giving, you know, the, the ABM that went from 282 to 310 is what they're estimating. So it's up 28. With ABM? Average daily membership. Ah. Right on. So I don't know. I mean, it's not a guarantee either. This is an estimate, and you do know it does change. They don't give us the number till the following October of what it actually yeah. will be. So it's it's a gamble. We I, I I don't know if this will actually come in like this. I but that's what they're estimating. for Rich on the literacy interventionist piece of it, or? I think you, just, you, you discussed it with us at our last meeting. Yeah, 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 it's the, one of the new positions that Kate brought to you last May. Mm -hmm. um, and the biggest, two big reasons. One is, as a part-time person, um, she's only able to service kids a limited number of days. Um, so kids that could require five days of a specific intervention are only getting anywhere between two and four. Mm -hmm. um, and there are other students that she could be servicing, but she's booked for the half days that she's here. Um, and there's other pieces that as I've got to know what her responsibility is and you know things that we could be doing a little bit differently that I'd like to see her do if she can move to a full-time position to reach a greater amount of students um, than just those ones that need the intensive intervention. So it would be great if that could happen. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the next section is <laughs> internet yeah. access. And like we talked about last time, it's yes. increasing by $8,800 to run the fiber from the railroad to the school to improve speed and quality. And that's that one-time cost. It's, it's yeah, one time of five thousand, and it's five hundred per month. Yeah, it is. It is an increase in the monthly yes. spend. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. I was thinking about this and wondering if this is one of those areas where we could collaborate with the rest of the town. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what they use for internet. I imagine that the volume is much less than the school, but it seems like a, it, that seems like a large number to me as coming. It's kind of an uneducated look at it. Um, I don't know typically how much it costs for, you know, a small, a small business or a building of this size, but it might be worth looking into uh, collaborating with some of the other departments, maybe the water department and town hall. Yeah, and I and I don't know if this is simply to run a dedicated line. I, I really don't know, or, or, or if they can split it off to the police station and the. Have some kind of package deal where package they just, you know, yeah. 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 Like 500 a month. I think that's just an increase in duties or something. Is that it's, so? Yeah, it's an increase in the amount of, um, yeah, what I call 
capability for the school. So with the number of pieces of electronic equipment in our building increasing, uh, if we don't have a month, and the year is 2,000 something. Yeah, it, it was $2,200 that we budgeted for this year. What was the actual though? Twenty-eight hundred last year. Yeah, so it's close to three thousand. Mm -hmm. And was that through um, was that through cable? Last year? Comcast. Comcast. I believe it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and this and this is going to be different. This is going to be fiber rather than yeah. cable, correct? Yeah. So I don't know. FiOS and what? Uh, so I think we have FiOS. Oh, I was just wondering if it was yeah. Well, I, well, I, I'm. I mean, you know, yeah, I guess. I guess. We probably would like a little more information on exactly what the what is coming on. Mm -hmm. This came from Tom, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it, is it a dedicated line for the school? It, it, we, all, we know it's very important that all of our students yeah. and all of our staff are at the technology. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. I it's what they need, nice. but we have, we also want to make sure that, as Aaron, to Aaron's point, that mm -hmm. yeah. if we can I'll do something, yeah. this might be a better alternative. Maybe there isn't. We have the town budget. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. So, yeah, and I guess realizing that there are definitely obviously more devices mm -hmm. here that are connecting. So that's, that's yeah, it seems I'm sure that something needs to be improved for sure. But, but, I mean, but you're right, I mean, the access in town, the library, anything that could be pulled into it if necessary. Yeah. Could we the share library, the, the police station, right. you know, exactly. the fire station, yeah. all those things. So in, and will you bring that up on mm -hmm. I don't think he looked into that. I know it's dedicated for the school. So it's dedicated. And so, yeah. so there may not be any other. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know there it is. Looking for his sheets to see if I can give you some more information. Mm -hmm. <coughs> installation and recurring costs. So what I asked him to do was um, put in the cost for installation um, because if it is required, we don't have the money in there to put it. Um, so the cost for a one-time cost installation estimate is the 5000 The recurring costs are the 500 a month. The current rate is 300 a month. Which is a little bit more than yeah. you know, what we put. Um, this is all dependent on uh, whether our E rate is approved, also, um, because if that is approved, then it also pays 40% of those costs, both what installation is, and recurring. What is that? It's a reimbursement program. Oh. Okay. For schools or yeah. for okay. educational rate? Well, there must be some sort of. Uh, I've always said E rate. I don't yeah. know what E stands for. Yeah, okay. It's not education. Well, that makes okay. a huge difference. So that makes a big difference, yes. right, yeah. as to what we have to budget for. So that's 40% yeah. off this, or this is the number? No, that's 40% off. So if we get the E rate, the total of the 11000 would go down to 6600 Oh, great. So he's budgeted for the 11000 I see. All right. But if we get the rate, we'll have a savings of How do we know if we're eligible for that? Uh, there's a process. There's an application of, yeah, process. Application I process. Yeah. And that's not something that we would be able, eligible for right now, based um, on our current. He uh, applies every year. Mm -hmm. Did we, I don't recall. I haven't seen anything. I don't think um, we've heard this year or not. But it's a yearly application I believe, that you put in, and if you qualify, then you get it. Because that's 40%. That's, a, that's an enormous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's a... And Tom will do that. It, it's not something that, oh, great, the budget's passed. I don't have to worry about this. He, yeah. he will yeah, of follow through and make sure that we get the best rate and best support. 
supplies. If you want me to have him come to the next meeting to explain more, I can. I, I didn't ask either he or Dick to come. But or even if they could just provide you with you know, the information as to whether or not that's been applied for before and we, we got it, how difficult it is, or, you know, if there's a, you know. I mean, I know we do it in Summers work all the time for, yeah. we have huge IT projects that yeah. we do over there and, it, you know, Lori takes care of that, but. The, yeah, whole, how the whole purpose of it is yeah, to, so that educational yeah, um, okay. buildings can install and upgrade and they pay for the fiber and the, the percentage. So, so it sounds likely that we will qualify for it. As long as it's an E-rate eligible item. Oh, I guess. Oh, okay. so, say, yes. so I guess that would be may maybe just asking um, Tom. Fiber, if, if, fiber, I know. If, if, he feels, yes. if, if he feels it's E-rate eligible, just, just so we have an idea. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that, because that, that's $4,000. All right, so the next section, the next two lines are for the tuition to Marshwood. So for the middle school, it was an increase of $18,051. And that was just based on moving the kids up, you know, to the mm -hmm. current levels and the tuition rate increase. Um, at the high school, there was a decrease, and that was basically due to the kids moving out and moving up. So, um, so the next few sections are the supply lines. So as I yeah. talked about last time, there's decreases and increases because we broke out by department. So um, you'll see increases and decreases there and new accounts. Um, same in the middle of page four, with starting with, with subscriptions, there was a decrease of 9,400. Um, however, there was an increase in the next line because we are doing more detail. So we're right. breaking it out by subscriptions and reference books and workbooks. Um, software, there was a decrease of $500. Um, I did put in the cost for each of the items. I know that was a request from the last time. Yes, so the antivirus um, software, $3,500. Uh, Microsoft FTE program for $2,900. And, and, and any additional software renewals for $5,000. Who, who knew that we needed to have full-time employee uh, stuff on our project? <laughs> Um, again, under technology, there was a decrease of 30700 but the next page, there was an increase of 265 It's just breaking it out between new equipment and replacement of equipment. Yeah, taking it to the right one. Yeah. You'll see a lot of that as we go through. And then there's also lines for equipment replacement and music, phys ed, um, for recorders and basketballs, or phys ed. Um, also for math, there was some new equipment, uh, reading, science, and art for the things that are listed there. Again, just giving more detail, so as the years mm -hmm. go on, you're going to see those trends for each of the departments. Um, under special education, on page six, um, again, salaries, FICA, retirement, health, dental, there was a decrease of 24599 It's basically due to the medical insurance um, decrease. Um, and then the next section is tuition. Um, this is a change from the last time. Um, if you remember correctly, for the tuition to Sundersworth for special ed, I won't go into too much detail, but it's based on current students that we have, so that is a change. Um, the next section, again, too, is the special ed for Marshwood. Um, there was some changes since the last one. I think I said that at the last meeting there were updates right before that meeting, so mm -hmm. that's been reflected. Um, same with the next two lines. Those are for out-of-district placements for students. Those were, um, that's where you're going to see the big decrease there. Mm -hmm. um, top of page seven, uh, attendance services. Um, I talked about this last mm -hmm. time. We added in a stipend for a truancy type officer to help with um, truancy issues at the school. Um, guidance, there was a decrease of $2,229, basically to the medical insurance rates going down. And then there was new equipment added for $460 for a movable partition for the Zen Den. We have our meetings in there, so it's sometimes separating our meeting area from staff coming in and out to do different things. So. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of space. 
under health services, again, a little bit of an increase um, due to longevity. And then we did reallocate some substitute salaries into here. Um, so before they were all allocated under regular education for all substitutes. So now we've okay. broken them out between yep. um, regular ed, special ed, um, nurses, and clerical, I believe, were the other ones that we did. Mm -hmm. Because that's where we get most of our subs, so we broke it out so we have a little more detail to see, get out the see where we're, yeah, we're paying them out. And again, a little bit of an increase for supplies for band-aids and such that are listed there. And then an increase to the software for the nurse of $25. That's just bringing it up to what it actually costs for the software. Under speech, again, a net decrease of $2,212 due to medical. Um, decrease of 200 to the professional services line. I think that was just based on actuals. That we, there was nothing that had been spent over the years in that line, so we decreased that. And then a small decrease in general supplies of $36 and a little bit of an increase for uh, iPad vouchers in the software. Um, under professional services, these are for PT and OT services um, for special ed. Um, there's a little bit of a decrease in the service area, but then we did add $250 for supplies because there was never any supplies budgeted for OT purposes, so um, we added a little bit of money in there. Under testing, we decreased this line by 1500 just based on actuals that we've been spending. I think it's because we don't do any more anymore here, so we decreased that by 1500 And then a small decrease in the dues of $335. And then again, under subscriptions and books, this mm -hmm. is a, we got rid of it in this line because we're now allocating it under regular education. Under library, a, again, a small decrease there. There was a track change and then the medical insurance decrease. Mm -hmm. Um, increase of $600 for library general supplies. And then an increase of 1000 for furniture, mm -hmm. for stools, mm -hmm. and some bookshelves. Mm -hmm. And then an increase for the library software, $1,500 for the four items that are listed there. And then I did increase the audit by 2000 But I will say, though, I just got the bill for the for yeah. and it was only about $8,500. So, down, so I don't know if that one year, year was an yeah. anomaly. I don't know. I'm not sure. So I don't know if that's something we want to revisit, but or we can keep it for now, I guess. But it did come in lower. So last year was you said 80. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember which year. Let me look. It was one year where it was like 13,000. Yeah, and that was and it the is. same wow. yeah, place that we yeah. go to yeah. for the auditing service. Yeah, it was. Yeah, FY18, it was 12,250 dollars. I can pull the actuals on that and see why it was that high. But again, like I said, it just came in, the bill, and it was like $8,500. I mean, I'd be, um, you know, I would feel comfortable dropping this certainly to 12 Yeah. Um, no, well, no point. I guess we can see what the average has been yeah. then. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're 11. Mm -hmm. 11. Yeah. Yeah. Between, yeah. yeah. 11, whatever. I'll look back to it last year and see what, what, what it is that we see. Yeah. If it was all to the auditor or what it was, just that made it go up because it, didn't go, it wasn't that high this year. So. Okay. Yeah, so something yeah. was it complicated one year? I don't know. I don't know. know. Usually they're pretty straightforward. So, so I'm just making note that, that Kate, you're going yeah, to look at averages that. and, and, yeah, and, then I and drop it. probably drop this down. And then legal, like I said, I did increase it by five thousand dollars just to give a little bit of a, a buffer there for the for the withdrawal costs. Um, under school administration, um, there was an increase um, between salaries, FICA, all of those benefits, two thousand four hundred and eighty. That's due to a two percent proposed salary increase. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So back on legal services, yeah. what do we normally spend, or do we do we know when when you're looking? So. Back? It's hard to tell with legal because you, it could be certain things that happen during each, you know. So let's see, in 16, 17, you spend $8,975. But last year, you only spent $4,000. Right now, we have budgeted 10 for the current year. So, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I only put that in as a placeholder. I, it, we yeah, can certainly yeah. change it. We have, we have pretty uh, consistently budgeted 10. Yeah. Um, I believe in fiscal year 2020, we will be renegotiating. Will be, will be ex we, our, our contract has a renegotiation year to extend it for another four years with Marshwood, so, so that's there. Is that, yeah. um, 
and we will, we will need legal advice on that, and um, and and also um, any withdrawal withdrawal expenses from from March to through June, through June, which would be sort of probably the heavy hitting time of getting things looked at. So again, that that's like to leave it a little higher than the normal. So does this so does this seem prudent? I mean, the fifteen. I think it depend, looking at what's coming up, I think. Yeah, I don't think we need to go higher than that, but no. I don't want to lower it either. Okay, I just yeah. Yeah, wanted to question that. Yeah. Um, okay. So like I said, under school admin, it was a 2% opposed increase, and then with the rate decreases for insurance, it came down to 2,480 net increase. Uh, we did increase postage by $200. Is that for actuals? Because I understand that postage is going up. It was based on actuals from last mm -hmm. year. We noticed yeah. the... Yeah. We saw the other one. And then we did decrease printing by 275. Again, it's reallocated to the proper lines of where it belongs. Um, under insurance, there was a decrease of $1,855 based on Primex rate for our property liability, so that's good news. Um, under custodial, um, there was a net increase of 1360 Again, that's for the 2% proposed mm -hmm. increase and then the, the benefits that go along with that. And we did add a new line this year for professional development for the custodians. There was no line before, and they have been going to certain yeah. workshops and things like that. So we allocated money for that, as well as travel mm -hmm. to attend those workshops for mm -hmm. 500 um, Custodial equipment, there was a decrease of $1,000. Um, what's budgeted is a weed whacker at $200, a leaf blower at $300, a hammer drill at $250, and a sawzall at $250. That line is new equipment? New equipment. New equipment that we don't currently have. And then underneath that is the equipment replacement line for the custodial. So it was a $4,400 increase. Um, again, water heaters in the kitchen for $2,200, a sump pump for $300, and a floor burner shirt for $1,500. Under utilities, I did increase both telephone and oil just based on past usage. I upped it to what we've been spending. Same with trash removal. Um, we've been spending around 5500 so I increased it by $400. Uh, uh, just to stop you right there yeah. for a minute, how do people feel about the um, well, cost of oil is, is, is staying pretty steady right now? I mean, with, you know, this, it's a, it's a crapshoot for us. I'm not saying. I'm sure we got one. You're, you're, you're suggesting we increase it, Tom? Yeah, it's uh, Oh, as it's written. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry. Okay. I thought, the way I thought I meant more too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we do. Um, we do lock in with the town too, so right. we get the rate the same right. as them. So. Yeah. Um, undergrounds maintenance and lawn care. There was an increase of eighteen thousand um, dollars. It's for additional parking on the north side of the building. Ten thousand dollars. Process wood fibers for the playground at two thousand dollars. Replacement of the bigfoot slide on the play structure for two thousand dollars. Um, miscellaneous landscaping items, soil, machine work, seed for three thousand, and beach sand for the playground at a thousand dollars. It says an increase, but that was a new line. That yes, it was a new line. You, you broke it. You broke it out. out lawn mm -hmm. and, and, and grounds yeah. maintenance yeah. from from other from, from other building. maintenance lines. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll see decreases in other areas, mm -hmm. such as the one below for equipment yeah. repairs. We decreased that by five thousand. Um, under maintenance repairs, there was a decrease of $31,035. Um, in here, this is where the 93000 for the roof was for the current year, so that was taken out. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, also there was a study for a ventilation plan, $6,000. Painting the gym, $2,500. Painting the main building that's <coughs> in-house, $1,000. Ceramic tile, the halls and kitchen in the main building, $28,000. Paint and repair the cupola, twenty-one thousand. We did keep it in here. I know there was a discussion yeah, we'll last have, time, we'll so we'll have that discussion again. We'll that discussion in a minute. <laughs> Insulate the pipes in the annex for three thousand. Replace a window in the kitchen for sixteen hundred dollars. Cubbies for the annex, eight thousand dollars. Replace door hardware, six thousand dollars. Is that internal and external, or just internal doors? Internal. Internal. Thank you. Six additional solar <coughs> cameras at seventy-five hundred. That was an estimate. And um, and. Just to add to the um, security cameras that we got through the Homeland Security Grant originally. Is that where you got the security cameras? 
We've got security cameras that are only external okay. to the building. The ones that we have, yes. Yes. Yeah. And which was a conscious decision. Which was a conscious decision to have only external cameras. So we will want to have a discussion on where these cameras may be placed. We, we will not do it in a public session, however. Okay. And we are having it on public after this, so we may have a very quick. Resurfacing the gym floor for fifteen thousand, replacing the NX water shutoffs five thousand, battery backup for the main lift two thousand, and then general maintenance for the whole entire year for anything else that might come up fifteen thousand. Can I mm -hmm. just clarify um, the decrease of the F nine nineteen warrant article? Yep. Um, so in in this we're. So this is the total amount, including the warrant articles. No, so when your warrant articles get passed, mm -hmm. then they get added into your budget. Right. So in the current year, right. there was $93,000 that was approved for the right. warrant articles. So that got added in. So now we're taking that out for next year because we're not going to do the roof next year. Right. So this. So really, if you think about it, there's an line. increase of really right. 60 whatever thousand you. because. That's exactly what I was yes. Okay. Yes. I know that will come up too because that did come up last year That's as exactly the deliberative of the clarifying. public hearing. One of <laughs> yes. So if you, in theory, it, this line did increase by 60, whatever the difference is between the 90 That's right. I just want to yeah. make that very yeah. clear. Thank yeah. you. And so number five, I have a question too. Mm -hmm. The ceramic tile, the halls and kitchen, mm -hmm. building. So is that to redo all, the, all of it? Or is that certain one, a certain one falling out? Or I'm not sure. The, the, yeah. yeah, the tiles up there, from what they've told me, are the older tiles. And what he wants to do is replace it to match the annex tiles. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll add, it's not just match. It, the maintenance on these new tiles is absolutely much easier less costly, takes less time to do them, they're safer, um, they're, it, it's, it's amazing. You stole my problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I'm that sorry. was the other reason, because it does <laughs> take, it takes Rick more time on that side of the building to clean because of the type of tile it is, it, it does. So by replacing them, it will save him time in the evening, where he can be doing some of the other things that it doesn't get to during the day. Just, just give me, just say. That's okay. Just say, just, you worded it perfectly. <laughs> just say, I, I got it. Is there a different way you want me to word this so that it's more clear on the decrease of the increase of the warrant article? I mean, you've acknowledged it. Okay. I just want to yeah. make sure that I remember it being a question it, last year. I'm understanding so, yeah. it correctly. Yes, yes you are. So that I can talk about it correctly. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the next section is for our equipment maintenance agreements. Um, so these are different things like we do annually to upkeep the equipment that we have. Mm -hmm. So fireproofing the stage curtain at $1,000, a quarterly drinking water test for $1,000, a yearly indoor air quality test $1,500, fire extinguishers $1,200, sprinklers $600, fire alarm $600, the fire suppression system we do twice a year, it's at $1,000, the permits for the lifts, $400. The inspections for the lifts, $2,250. Boilers, $1,200. The kitchen, $500. Integrated pest control for $1,000. And underground, underground storage oil tank for $1,500. Is that an inspection of the underground oil tank? I, mean, I would think, yes. Because yeah, yeah. I know it's I don't know what it is, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Can I yeah. uh, The drinking water test, mm -hmm. um, is that... I know the town, it's a new requirement that has come okay. out, and do we, is there a requirement as to who, I mean, uh, we, because we have the pipe issues, I know that the water and sewer department has been doing a lot of testing and stuff, is that maybe an opportunity where we can coordinate with the town again, or is there, I don't know, specific we requirements yeah, that, we have to test every single, every, anywhere a child could have a drink of water that has to be tested now. Yeah. So if that, um, so why is it our responsibility and not the water and sewer department's responsibility? Because we pay water, we pay, we pay them to provide the water. Well, I, I think yes. that internally the, the testing that the the state, the Department of Education is mandating is to test.
test for lead through lead pipes mm -hmm. and those yeah. types of things. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not sure that's a responsibility. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. just yeah. responsible yeah. probably up to the okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Because there are other tests that we're going to be doing this from the, from mm -hmm. the outside oh, in. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Is there a specific company that would require? I mean, like a does it have to be state. I think they have given a list of companies that do it. Um, yeah. I don't think it, they're requiring us to use any specific company list. Uh, Lori Lane met yeah. with somebody yeah. for Summer's Works yeah. and she was going to refer yeah. Dick to that person. They're reaching out to us like crazy. Yeah. 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 A ton of them are saying about yeah. that. Um, well, I'll talk to the wire and sewer department too and see if they offer inspections, if they do anything that maybe we can seems uh, for, for a quarterly test, $250 um, a pop, that's an awful lot of faucets to be testing. It sounds, yeah. it sounds, it sounds yeah. are, are we budgeting enough for that? We don't know, right? Yeah, I, it's the first time that yeah. Dick has put it into the budget, okay. so that he... We'll find out. I can, I can, ask, have I can ask Lori what, when she met with the person okay. and see what they were quoting. Well, we have no experience, and I'd hate to have it be, you know, just, yeah. Yeah. several thousand dollars right. too low. Mm -hmm. but. But uh, I think also checking to see if our water sewer department. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so although the state may want someone different from, mm -hmm. for the yeah. outside the inside yeah. panels. Right? Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Um, the next one down is upkeep of machinery. Again, we zeroed this line out because now we're putting it in the where it belongs in the proper lines. We had a couple of upkeep and equipment repairs. They were kind of the same thing, mm -hmm. so we just reallocated. And this is nice to see the full list of the maintenance agreements, mm -hmm. by the way. I think it's the first time we've seen it, and it's really nice to have it. Um, under transportation, there was an increase of $6,086 based on our first student contract. And under SPED, there was a decrease of $41,789 just based on the current students that we have. And we did increase field trip transportation by $1,050. It's $200 a classroom times nine classrooms for a total of $1,800. And then other support services, these are re uh, retirement buybacks for the approved retirements that we approved at the, one of the meet last meetings. Um, again, under tuition workshop reimbursement, we decreased that by 24000 but it, underneath it we added 12000 to professional development because we didn't have a line to bring people here to the building to do professional development. It was this, the other line was more for teachers to go out to workshops, so we just reallocated that, but also decreased it by twelve based on usage. And then workers' compensation insurance decreased by $321. And then the last one is the decrease of the $75,001 for the Warren Articles for the capital letter fund. Well, I would like to commend, and, and Rich, please pass this on to anyone else, the entire staff for, for staying healthy, for not, getting hurt, for, not getting, for not getting hurt on the job, and for keeping the building in good repair without having to have any liability and uh, property claims on that. Really, it, it has made an amazing difference mm -hmm. in our budget, as we can see. It's absolutely amazing. Um, we had talked about at the SAU meeting, mm -hmm. our oh, I did take the situation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, um, Lori's getting me a quote. It did come out of the SAU. It did. Yeah. Okay, right I looked on. back, it was 2014, I think, that we purchased them. And it was through the SAU budget, so I have Lori getting me a quote on what that would be. And I did, I forgot to mention, I did decrease to, um, the school spring out of your budget. So it's oh, you did? Okay. Perfect. I took that out because it seemed like the SAU was on board yeah. with adding yes. it to that one, so yeah. I did take it out of here, so I decreased that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, if uh, people are ready to, let's move on to warrants. Um, since it's, sort of, it's, it's along the same lines, obviously. Uh, so, one of, um, in the budget, as, as um, Katie pointed out, is the 21000 for cupola repair. And, uh, we, and, and Aaron brought up last time the possibility of saying maybe, maybe that's the type of thing that we want to put on a warrant and let the town decide what to do. Um, you know, we, we, we all hear individual complaints, sometimes we hear the same person over, over and over complaining about it. Um, maybe I've given a little thought, and I, I agree with Aaron, that maybe it's something that the town should say, yeah, we, we, we want to make that look 
We want the school to look as good as it can look, and we need that cupola repaired, um, rather than just uh, go ahead and, and rather than just putting it in the budget. So let's have some discussion on that. Well, I just want to make sure that it, um, and I guess the town could make this decision, uh, you know, vote on this as well. I just want to, I mean, for me, it's more safety. So if it, it you know, needs to be done for safety reasons, then you know, regardless of, obviously I want it to look nice too, but mm -hmm. that's just my two cents. No, I agree. It's a safety issue. Also, is it potentially like, do we, may we have leaks due to its deterioration? Or I, I don't know what the, I don't know how it's attached. You know, is it an afterthought, or is it something that's built into the building where, as it deteriorates, we could be opening ourselves up to more problems? And I think that's a good argument toward leaving it in the budget and, and going forward with it that way. I think that's a good argument for that. Yeah, I, I don't have quite the, the confidence to, especially, you know, when the committee wants this, you know, the, the uh, recommendations to go forward with it in the budget committee. I, I think we really just need to put it in the budget. I think that it's, the thing is being wrapped around by chicken wire. So clearly there are things falling off that. And that's a good point, too, about any other damage, leaks, other stuff. You know, I rather than have, you know, put the risk that people are just going to say, well, you know what, we're not going to pay for it because we just don't want to. We have to take care of this. This thing has been... It's an eyesore, but it also is falling apart. It's structurally falling apart. There are pieces, slats of wood, that are only being held together by by chicken wire. And that's ridiculous. So, uh, I I say keep it in the budget. Uh, I I think we have talked about this enough over the years that it was our intent originally to have this in the budget. Now, last year, I know that it kind of fell through the cracks, but now it's, it is what it is. We're going to go through another winter of storms. We've already had an early, you know, preview to what we're going to face. So, I think, while I agree that it would be nice, you know, this isn't, uh, you know, putting up some uh, statue. We're... We're trying to fix something that's structurally broken, so I think we have a responsibility to make sure it gets done. I have no idea. None of us have been up there. I have no idea what that thing looks like. I'm assuming that it's, it's being held together, but it would be prudent to get it fixed. And I'm not saying, you know, spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like we yeah. were talking about, you know, mm -hmm. bringing it back to its original wood from the Mayflower. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Well, we can't do it. I mean, for 21 grand, you can get it done and have it, have it painted. It'll, be, it'll last forever. It'll last forever. They'll be using the more up-to-date, you know, uh, I don't know, I think they use composite now. There's some wood that'll just weather, you know, it'll, it'll be able to withstand our winters. It just... I don't want to be talking about this next year. Yeah. And, if the, and, if the, and if the warrant doesn't pass because for people people. just don't feel like it. You know, we're responsible for this. If a piece of wood falls off that and hits a child, I mean, that's 50 feet up in the air. I'm sorry. It's just, I think enough's enough. So, are we, so as a board, is the consensus then that we move forward? Uh, without the warrant, and I, I, and I, I, I'm, I'm actually, um, I would probably prefer no warrant for a lot of different reasons, and I think there are other avenues that we might uh, look into at also moving forward. But uh, and if we could you know, save that, money, leave the money in the budget, and if we can somehow save that money going forward, I'll try to. Is that seem okay? All right, so it's, we're leaving that in the budget then. Were there any other big questions? in the budget to be answered. I know we added some to your, we added a couple questions to both of your, uh, 
Rich, you're going to check in with um, Tom just to get that question. It sounds like it's a it sounds the more the more you read what he wrote that it's a dedicated line. It's coming straight to the school, and for that reason, we're also going to get a discount if the uh, if we get approved. But I'll have them so, type up a narrative for you know, next time. And if if he if he feels really confident that oh yes everybody gets the E rate as long this qualifies and everybody gets the E rate, I, we would like to see that line dropped. Mm -hmm. It feels likely that we'll yeah. receive that. If you understand what I'm saying. I think we have to budget for the amount. Budget for the full amount? And then yes. we will oh, go from is, is, there it like, is it like a repay kind of thing? Yeah, okay. it would be yeah. revenue if yeah. it comes in, correct. Because we don't know when that money would be received. Either, so. That's true. So. True. Okay. Or do they just take it off the bill? Yeah, well, no, usually we, it would go against, yeah, we would pay it, and then yeah, we, we, we would reimburse it, yeah, we would just front the money. Yeah. 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 All right, <laughs> so, um, so for the rest of the warrants, they are, um, you know, we're, we're, we're hoping to have a collective bargaining agreement, so it'll be the budget, uh, the default budget, the um, Article uh, 6 will, will be the... Um, collective bargaining agreement. We put them in this order now. The, uh, the, we said we, for Article 7, we said we would fund two tuitions, and that would be at the cost of next year, so it will be closer to $22,000 yeah, or something somewhere around there. Um, and then the second one would be $75,000 to the building fund. Do we, does the order still seem appropriate to people? That Because that's only if the money's left over. So let's say that there's... Um, uh, let's say that there's fifty thousand dollars left over. Twenty-two would go into the tuition, and the remainder would go into the. Okay. Still like it that way to make sure we have that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And the seventy-five thousand for this year was transferred, so the balances that are in your I'll update now, those because that is now reflected. So the seventy-five thousand more went into your building fund mm -hmm. for the current year. So. And the one dollar. And we know that one dollar. Yeah. Um, and um, okay, do I, I was going to ask you what they warrant articles do, and that's also petition warrant articles, correct? You said that all warrant articles are due by January twenty eighth. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's and that includes petition warrant articles. I believe so, but I'll look yes. back on the end. Okay. So. Boy, they, yeah, there's not much time between that and the deliberative session, is there? Mm. Fast and furious. <laughs> Other uh, budget, and I did contact legal, they will be there at the deliberate session. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we usually have a representative. Yes, we do. <laughs> oh, and, and um, just as we're, as we're looking forward to the deliberatives and sessions and such, um, um, the uh, school district moderator would once again like to be invited to our uh, January meeting. To, to, be, to make sure he understands the warrants and everything going forward. So um, we'll, we'll look at getting him invited to that. Any other, so any other um, stuff from the experts sitting at the table? <laughs> or like an evil laugh. Yeah. Or from the board? No, I don't have any. No, these are just for the We do have non-public, so we are going to uh, stay and do a little non-public. Thank you. Appreciate all well, of Thank you. Coming yeah. by.